Hello and welcome to our Hutan Pantai pig farm. Uh, this was supposed to be a stream only series, but we've not been able to get much stream time due to <laughs> weather and poor internet and things like that. So today I'm going to try and record what we would have done in that period of time. Uh, we'll go out, we'll get our late autumn jobs done. We'll see if we can make some money because we're getting a little bit short on cash. So contracts are going to be our thing. So let's go out there, let's see what we can do, see what we can find, and uh, hopefully be a little bit wealthier come the end of it. So let's go. So to start with, we'll just check in on our pigs. Our pigs are now five months old. We were going to turf them out at six months, but I think that's, that's then going to be November, December. So uh, that might be a bit cruel. So we'll, we'll probably keep them in this winter, and we'll, we'll put them out in the, uh, in the outside pasture probably early spring so we'll hold them in for a little bit longer but as you see they've got plenty of straw in for bedding feed they're fine for for their size so we're not too worried about them they're doing just fine and for our pig feed needs as you see there's not a lot or anything really that we can plant now everything that we need to grow for our pigs is a march april uh, planting window so it is going to be relying on contracts for october november and probably december so we'll, we'll see what we've got contract-wise. And checking in on our contracts, two that jump out at us straight away are these nice, easy fertilising jobs. Nearly five grand, they two and a half. So what's that? Six, six and a half grand. It's nearly seven grand for two contracts. Uh, we've got the equipment, so we can go out and do that. We don't need to borrow anything. So we will accept the contract from Walter for 14. And we'll accept the contract from Noah for 34. Let's get ourselves hooked up and out and uh, make some money. I think for this one, we'll take the white out with us. I like that we are getting to see uh, the contract percentage in the top corner now as well. So that's good as you're going along. We'll be able to follow what we've got done and what we haven't got done. That's nice. So our fertilizer spreader is backed up in here somewhere. I'm sure I can get in without clipping a door frame what i'd really like us to do is to earn some money throughout winter so that then in the new year i can maybe sell this shed and the small one that's next to it and replace them with uh, some something different something that's a little bit bigger something that we can uh, get in and out of a little bit easier on stream i do tend to clip this so i'm going to head out i'm going to go f see what i mean always clip it i'm gonna go find where the fields are and um, i'll jump you guys back as we're working so the first field we're going to tackle is field 34 here on the right which is for noah it's quite sizable i think we'll do fine on here we'll get ourselves unfolded do have quite a nice width on this, so it's it's literally a quick up and down with these. We'll see how how quickly it fills up on the uh, on the job count counter on the contract at the top right hand side there. Now we do only only have a little over three thousand liters of fertilizer. I thought we had a little bit more than that, and that is all we had. So we may even have to use this money just to buy more fertilizer. <laughs> to do the following job we're just going to whip around the outside nice and simple this is it's literally just around the back of um, our rice fields which are empty they will soon be our rice fields once again that will come now the other field is about twice the size as this of this one so if we use more than 1500 liters we definitely need to buy some more i think i'll probably have to buy buy one bag en route because it is back across the other side of Hutan Pantai. So we shall see. It's been pretty easy to get the coverage. So it's quite a widespread. I think without precision farming though. We're sort of wasting and we're double fur. And where we obviously wouldn't normally double fur. And from what I gather. this is I mean this is the first contract we've done. But from what I gather contracts aren't as generous. As what they used to be. With like leftovers and bits you can miss. And extra crops and stuff like that. I don't think that generosity is there anymore. I can't even see where we've not been. 
Perhaps I should have used the GPS. I feel like I've covered the whole thing. I don't think our map... If I bring up our little mini-map, I don't think it's going to show us. So we are now wasting fertiliser to find 2%. It must just be a little skirt around the edge somewhere. As we are throwing away litres and litres of fertiliser. <laughs> Come on, give me that 1%. Give me that 1%. What have I missed? Um, there we go, yeah. Even got an achievement for it. So we don't have access to that now. So it's instantly gone. Access to the field instantly goes. So if we just check in, we can complete that. Okay, so let's collect that payment. That's two grand. So next up is field 14. So it's almost twice the size. So I think we're going to have to stop off and get some fertilizer. So at the store, two, two big bags of fertilizer is going to cost me more than what I just earned on that job. This is not not working out as it should. Uh, so yeah, that's 3,240. And we have, what, 2,200 or something off that job? But we, we need more fur. And come on, let's let's sort out this stuff in store where it keeps landing on each other. Let's, let's get that fixed as well. And we're going to go with a convenient fill. We'll just do these from off the side. So hopefully... Four and a half thousand litres is enough to fertilise field 14 and hopefully give us a little profit. I think off that, off this job we've already used a thousand, a thousand pounds to, uh, to get started on it. If we have to buy more, <laughs> dear oh dear, the economy is not good. So our next job is on 14, which is this field to our left. I think I'm going to start the other end, start at the, the straight edge, and we might we might use the GPS to uh, try and get a better coverage without having to be so wasteful this time, because that wasn't good. So we'll, we'll come in on the top. It is <laughs> thick as pea soup around here as well. The fog is something else. It is. I'm not even sure if my headlights help at all. Crikey. That is... That is something, isn't it? It's such a such a thin layer as well, though. Just rolling in. It's about 12, 13 feet of fog. Right, so if I just get on the field, and we'll try and sort out a little course for us. So, steering assist on. One headland is all we should need. So, click OK. Do we even need these bits? That's questionable. Right. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Let's get ourselves unfolded. If I turn my lights off, can I uh, actually see better? I think I think I can. Get ourselves hooked up. Right, we're on track. Let's get going. My wheels all facing the wrong way. The wheel is super loose today. I'm not enjoying the wheel. I'm trying to get it to go straight and it just doesn't want to. There we go. Why we can't have a decent centre spring is beyond me. I mean, that's the list of problems with FS25. It's probably near the bottom. But, yeah, the centre spring is non-existent again. So in our attempt to not be wasteful, we'll turn it off as we turn. Try and loop ourselves around without falling off the side. Skillful farmer, skillful farmer. We'll get there. It's not like we were ever skillful to begin with, but we'll, we'll try and get back to some sort of sense of ability. Probably should have done the up-down first, but I don't think there really is an up-down. It seemed a little bit overly generous on the amount of passes required at, at that point. And it sounds around to not catch on the bush. Now, the last few days, I, also, I have really enjoyed having a good look at some of the mods. And that's why I want to try and get uh, some different sheds in on the farm. Not only because I keep getting stuck on it, but I've had a look at some beautiful, beautiful sheds come out. So we'll try and get some of those worked in on this. Hopefully we get a really nice American map come soon. Or, or whenever they're ready. Obviously, I'm not, not, not a mod beggar. From that beggar, but yeah, when, when we get a really nice one, 
uh, a realistic one. I definitely want to work those old red sheds in. They look really cool. So contract is at 60%. We're down to 4,000 litres of fertiliser. I think we'll be all right. So off these two jobs, if we're lucky, we'll make two and a half grand, three grand profit. Not phenomenal by any means. By any means or any measure, not phenomenal. Right, so where is our next? According to the GPS. Where we go next? See, we don't need to take that line, that's for certain. We'll try and get this one. But even much of this is already going to have been spread. Perhaps I do need to get in there. Let's get a tiny little corner that's going to not give me that percentage that I need. So when I get to the end and grumble, we'll know why. It's just that for that, that little, what, four feet that needs the fertiliser, we're spreading the whole, the whole damn width. But this end, this should be perfect. So we might just have to pop up in that little corner and have a little, a little sprinkle. <laughs> so apparently over in this corner somewhere, it's 7% that we've not done. I don't believe it. I don't believe that there is. Now, we used GPS to cover the whole field. So what bit didn't get fertilised? If we go into the actual larger map, will it show? Because that's definitely spread, and I'm not happy to keep wasting my fertiliser. The top end, okay. So it just didn't run long enough at the bottom. I'll take that, I'll take that. So this should be us at 100. 100. There we go. Contract finished. Je suis fini. Suburbian merci. Collect our payment. So Walter, although he's our grandfather and he is retiring from farming, he still owns a lot of land because he has a lot of contracting for us. But we shall collect that. That's nearly five grand. So I think we're probably up a few pennies. Yeah, if we go over to our finances, we can see we have made three grand today. So 75 grand in the pocket. We are getting there slowly but surely. I think something that might help us out here on Hutan Pan Thai, but to make a bit of money, is if I'm able to figure out what the collectibles are and, and maybe find some of them that earn us a penny. I'm just going to park this massive spreader in the open. I'm not going to try and jam that in that shed anymore because that is a pain in the bum for certain. Right. And I believe I did see we've got some chilies growing or produced even. And I'm sure when I drove past the mushrooms there was a shed, a shed, a pallet of mushrooms by our mushroom shred. Shred? I can't get my words out today. Um, yeah, so we've got some two boxes of chili. So what do chilies sell for? So at the minute, our chilies, we've got 2,000 litres, obviously, and they're selling for 1,200 per litre at the restaurant. So we get two grand there. We've got a uh, thousand. Oh, so that's um, enoki mushrooms we've got. That's about three grand. Oysters we've not got grown at all. So not a lot going on, and we've only got... Wow, that's not good at all, is it? We've got 52 rice saplings so far. They need to grow for us. They really need to grow. If not, we don't have any rice planted. Yeah, there's, that's worrying. So, I don't know. I think I might wait. I might wait until we've got a full load before we start worrying about loading pallets up and selling. I think we can, we can hold out on that. But there were more contracts, obviously. Uh, so, I think we might see if we can find a larger contract... Maybe some cultivating or ploughing or something like that. There are some harvesting jobs. I think they were cotton. There's a lot of cotton growing for some reason. Uh, I'm not big on doing that. So we've got our lovely big cult uh, our lovely big cultivator. So we might go and uh, see if we can find a, a job to get going with that. I might even actually you know this is quite wide. So I might try trade this out for one of the modded ones. But this is quite wide. We'll stick with this for now. 
Let's see if we can find job wise. So at the minute there are three cultivating jobs. Uh, we've got one from Walter, which is two grand, and that's up opposite the rice farm. And then Ben has got field 44 and field five. And field five is quite large. Uh, it's paying up over 10 grand. But I think I'm not gonna be greedy. And we're gonna take on field 44. It's nearly 6,000. We can use our own equipment. Ours is much the same size and power as that. So it shouldn't take us too long. So that's the one we'll take. We'll accept that contract. And for this one, we'll take the, the Akku Alice. It's pretty much the same tractor, but this one, I believe, is more powerful. We've got 225 horsepower in this one, so a little bit more go. So if we can hook up a bit smoother and get out. Nearly clipped the edge already. It's just such such tight doorway, such tight gangway on this on this barn. Yeah, some of the some of the modded cultivators and subsoilers I've had a look at now, absolutely beautiful, beautiful. They've got all the extra little functions that they do different things, which is really cool. We would like to try and work some of that stuff in, so we're gonna nip around the back of our manure bunker. Off we go. So yeah, our pigs are going to go in there. If you've not caught a live stream, our pigs are going to eventually go in there when they get bigger. So field 44 is up this way somewhere. So I'll bring you guys back once we arrive. Alright, so field 44 is way over there. So I think we're going to have to... Oh, there is a track. I was going to say, I wasn't sure how else we were going to get there because... The only road that goes near it is that massive highway. The motorway slip road. It's the only thing that's near it. So yeah, more more cotton over here. Like I said, I think there's like four cotton harvests waiting. They can wait. So this is us. This is field 44. This is what we're paid to do. So for this one again, we will use our steering assist, our GPS. We'll probably go with three headlands just to make sure I've got a plate of space I don't know where everything's going to be so we'll go with that so it's one two three we'll start over on this end we'll do the middle first I do wish I could get some, get some tension in my wheel right Let's unfold. Yeah, I don't think this has any uh, extra movable parts like the uh, like the mod ones I've been looking at. <laughs> shameful, shameful giants not putting the effort in. Right, let's get that lowered. Set back on track, and off we go. I cannot lie. I do like the the nice and simple built-in GPS. That is a treat. That is an absolute treat. I'll not complain about that. And it just works, which is nice, because sometimes when giants add things in, they don't always work. But this one I'm quite pleased about. This one I can live with, and I can work with. I should imagine this is going to take up the rest of my day now. A nice bit of cultivating. We've done a fair bit of cultivating in streams as well. So we'll uh, we'll just sort of jump through this and uh, show you the progress as we go along. Like I say, this is just supposed to be sort of keeping you up to speed on what we're doing in between streams rather than holding off on, you know, waiting until whenever so I can get another stream out and not really progressing. At least this way, if I put one or two of these out every now and then, we can see some progress on the farm and then this, the next stream will be a bit further along. Now I'm recording this on the 27th of November, which means Farm Sim has now been out for 15 days. And something that's sort of worrying me a little bit is that in those 15 days, we've not really heard anything from Giants about patches, updates, bug fixes, They've not posted anything to say what's a priority, what they're working on, out of the multitude of things that are broken and wrong with the game. 
especially for those on console, particularly PS5, that are barely getting 30 minutes of gameplay without it crashing. Even one of their top content creators is sick and tired of the crashes on his uh, PS5, and I believe he's running PS5 Pro now. He's had enough. He's posted on his social media that he's getting a joke. I'm not sure how much credit with the player base Giants really have, or how much they think they have, compared to the, <laughs> the actual um, unpleasantries that people are finding. Like this, I, I, I'm not, I'm not pleased with what we're getting back from Giants at the minute. And I think a show of what their priorities are is that when Giants Editor finally released, when GE 10 came out, they put a patch out within 24 hours and then put another patch out within like a day or two. I believe it's had two, three patches now, maybe even more. So they're updating the editor so modders create mods to build the game quicker than they seem to be working on updates and, and just releasing whatever update they've got. Like, release something that's fixed something to show us that you're doing it with the game. Like, why, why was the editor a priority over game? I just... I mean, I'm sure it's not like that. I hope it's not like that. But Giants have boosted 2, 3 million sales, whatever it's at now, already. But a third of the player base can't really play. I don't think that's good. That's not the win you think it is. And that does worry me. And I get met with a lot of resistance online with my opinions and stuff, which is always going to happen. I'm very opinionated. But I just don't think I just don't think that they're, they're doing enough at the minute. I really don't. And, um, you know, I've had people say, oh, should, would you rather they didn't release a game? Yeah, I'd rather they didn't release a game. I would, ra I would have preferred this to have gone another six months and then for them to have tested it more. And uh, obviously you then get met with, oh, you don't know all the problems until more people have played it. Okay, then all through the summer, why didn't we get early access beta testing? Why didn't they let their top tier Giants partners play the game en masse? Why didn't they give them two weeks, then fix whatever, and then a month later give them another two weeks, and then fix whatever? Like, if you need more people to test it, get more people involved in the testing phase, don't release the game in a beta state at full price, and then expect to people to be happy i am i personally i am beyond fed up of people making excuses for developers releasing games in broken states it's just not acceptable especially when they're not then on it like hotcakes to uh to fix it like why would you not want to fix it why are you not on it 24 7 to fix it I mean, someone even said that they th they think perhaps giants released the game and took a week off to celebrate the big sales or celebrate the release that's not what you do. You, you should not do that. Because they, they knew things didn't work. They must have known, and this is what I don't get, they must have known their own shed. Their own storage shed doesn't work properly. They must have known that their construction buildings, the construct, constructible houses and sheds, do not tick over and function properly. Uh, along with many other things, they must know that this game is flickering visually for so many people. And this is just on the PC end. Perhaps they don't know the console problems, but the PC end, they definitely do. And on streams and on social media and stuff, I keep using these two as two comparable examples, mainly because they're games that released recently and released recently with issues. Microsoft Flight Simulator got a massive patch within just a few hours of release and then has been patched multiple times since. That released after Farming Simulator. Stalker 2, another one that I've played, isn't in the best state at release. And I give them a little leeway, because those guys built that game in a bomb shelter in Ukraine for the best part of the year and a half. But they've already come out, and by the time this gets released, they may have already released part of the patch. They came out within two days and said, right, this is what's wrong, this is what's wrong, this is what's wrong, this is what we're going to be fixing. Thank you very much for your bug reports, thank you for your help, thank you for your support. These issues are going to be our priority. And they listed them in priority order of what they're going to be trying to fix over the next few weeks and months. I can get behind that. That's a developer that's talking to us and saying, right, we know there's issues. Thank you very much. Here's what we're going to do. And again, we've not heard anything from Giants. They've not said, right, our priority is going to be 
the PlayStation crashing, our priority is going to be visual optimization, our priority is going to be X, Y, and Z. So we don't even know what fixes are coming, we don't know what's being worked on. Even getting more of their own vehicles, not even modders vehicles, not even getting more of their own vehicles. Like, I know there's not like a time scale they can give for that, but they, they must know what's in the pipeline. And it's been drip fed so slowly, so slowly. Well, we've now finished cultivating the center of the field. We're going to get working on our headland. We've overlapped quite nicely here, actually, so it's pretty good. So we should should get good coverage. Again, the, the GPS. I mean, this is this is my biggest <laughs> my biggest love of the game at the minute is the GPS. It works really nicely. But there should be more than more than one good thing to to say about the game. And for me at the minute, that's sort of that's all I've got. Which I think is a little bit sad. I can't say I'm overly impressed with the visuals. I run a 3080 Ti and I think this game looks absolutely dog compared to other games. That awful ring of render. And I'm running on max settings, every setup, everything set at uh, max distances. That awful ring of render, 15, 20 feet in front of my tractor, is terrible. To then have our next ring of render, you know, 50, 60 feet up screen, it just, it's not good. It's not. And we are getting around about 45 FPS at the minute. 49. So we're playing at 50 FPS on a 38 Ti. It's just not good. Even Stalker in its terrible release state, as people are saying it is, uh, I can get 90. So we're now on our final outer headland to, uh, to, to hopefully finish off the contract. What worries me is we've only got this headland and we're not even at 75% contract complete so we'll, we'll see what we've got at the end here a little bit concerning unless it's suddenly going to ramp up in in massive percentages see that suddenly jumped to 85 percent it's like it's suddenly registered contract on film 44 is 80 percent complete yeah it's just, it's just suddenly sort of registered i think it's suddenly registered that we've been doing the work went from like 74 to 84 percent that little tuft over there is probably going to come back and bite me one percent We'll see. Easy money though, cultivating jobs. Not as easy money. Well, I was going to say not as easy money as the fertilizer, but the fertilizer didn't really make us any money, did it? <laughs> not a lot. You think that was um, six and a half, nearly seven thousand grand payout on the two fertilizer jobs, and profit wise, we made three grand. Plus fuel and wear. Like, we've got to take that off as well. So, you think fuel in the tractor, wear on the tractor that's going to need repairing? Probably talking about two and a half grand profit. Is the economy that much harder? In 25? Are others finding this? I don't know. Probably. I think it, it definitely feels like the economy is a little bit a little bit naughtier. Now with how tight this is being, I'm going to go back and grab that little tuft that I missed. Back that says up. Naughty with the tines down. We probably just broke something there. So it's jumped to 95 now. We're all right. It's, it's happening. Contract is going to be completed. We're going to be good. Now, I am aware that people are sometimes struggling to finish contracts on fields with harvests and stuff like that. So I guess that's annoying, to say the least. I mean, that used to be something we got on mod maps, but never... I don't think we ever had that on base game maps, not completing harvests. But it's, it's a lot tighter on contracts this time around, isn't it? But you have to do so much more. Like I, th I think previously this would have ticked over as done by now. Although personally, I always completed the job because I think you should. But you used to be able to, you know, hop off early if you if you wanted to and say, yeah, that's it, I'm done. I guess it offered the leeway for those that aren't maybe. Oh, it's not actually going to give us the opportunity to finish the job now. That's silly. That is silly. The fact that we 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 actually can't. So if I was doing a role play, I'd have to leave this half finished or drive off and pretend like oh we've done it because yeah weird okay we'll fold up so I'm sorry about this tuft but that's apparently not needed I was worried we weren't going to get enough of it done now I feel bad that we've left a bit surely that's not going to stay like that wait there if I collect the job let's just check this if I collect the payment does that finish the field off or is that going to be left like that? So it's 5,888 for the job. 
no it has ticked it over and done it that's alright then so it just finished off the little bit that I didn't okay I was just saying I can live with that well I don't like it I like to be able to finish a contract please thank you very much that's how I like to play disappointing disappointing so on a harvest do we get to harvest the whole field or do does it go right I guess because you do the delivery don't you so make sure you harvest the whole thing before doing the delivery because if not you might hit that completion percentage before you've actually got the bit of harvest that you get to keep for yourself risky business and with that we are back at the farm just a short drive back nowhere's too far is it really let's be honest so should we see if we can get this backed up and in here the master of the reverse Sort of, sort of, sort of. Head on a swivel, my friend. Head on a swivel. I'm sure someone's going to tell me I need to get a washer of some kind. And I probably do. You're right. I probably need to get myself a washer of, of some kind. Dear, oh dear. Not big on cleaning out the, uh, cleaning out the machinery. I'm a dirty farmer. I'm a dirty farmer. It's just how I am. So are we getting some manure? We're getting a tiny bit of manure from our piggies. Which is lovely. One th 100 litres of manure. <laughs> Love it. I do like our pigs. I'm glad we've got pigs. I'm looking forward to seeing them grow. That I am looking forward to. But that, my friends, will be it for this one. I've left the light on. Yeah, that'll be it for this one. So, a little bit of what we would have done on stream. I may do another recording before the next stream, just so we can progress along, see, see what jobs come up, see what's available, look after the animals, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a rant, but that's what we do when we stream as well. A bit of a rant, update on, on me and what's going on here. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, however it is I've managed to put it together. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find it when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.